So far what I've been doing is all along um, somewhat nearly to the single input single output stuff stuff. Alright. But however we didn't actually go into a multi variable, meaning multi multi input multi output. Alright, which is um M I M O. Okay? Over here. Alright. So in, in such of a case I can happens because in, in in real world there is many inputs and there is many outputs. Alright, so single input single output may be may be good to analyze Sing single things at, at one time but if you want to analyze a lot of things at one time and have a lot of output at one time then um, we require certain um, more advanced um, systems to actually observe stability of the systems all right and therefore one way is to to represent your systems based on your stick space model all right stick, stick space analysis and this will also um, lead back to the first lesson of the um, the, the videos, alright? These are all the stuff that is linking um, a little bit to what we're gonna study. So I'm not I'll not, not go through um, how we derive uh, these equations, this pendulum systems. Although in the video the pendulum system is not very much explained well but at least it conveys the meaning. Alright? And then this part over here we also been has, has been described already. We also have uh, go through that. And then we also derive uh, I think we derive the, the state space analysis for for the systems. All right, I'll just briefly go through this one. All right, this this few pages. So I'll just three really sub um come in into here. All right, the key understanding you need to know is that we are dealing in terms of a continuous time linear time invariant state space, meaning it doesn't change with time. All right, your system doesn't change with time, so it's time invariant. And this is only just for the open loop. Alright, let's let's discuss this open loop systems. So if this is the general equation for the state space, alright, as you know. Alright, taking the S0 is equal to S0. Alright. In other words, if time zero, alright, x is just x0. That's just the meaning of that. So how do we use this? And this one over here, alright, this equation that I've just shown can be all the way go down to here. Alright, which is over here. Alright. The only difference between this one and that one is simply writing x dot t as your dx over dt. That's all. It's the same thing. It's say, saying the describe. It describes the same thing. So now, if you the Laplace transform this 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 stuff over here, all right, <coughs> what you have is x x s minus x zero. Okay. So you know that your x zero is equals to your x naught. So this is how you apply your your understandings, right? For the AXT is, is transformed to AXS, BUT, BUT. It's, it's kind of straightforward for, for the bottom one. All right. The only thing is the differential part is, is, is kind of you need to take note of. All right. So the next part we're going to do is actually to, to bring. Now I group the XS. Actually, what I'm doing now is actually what I have done in the first video, the very first video of this playlist. All right. So I'll have minus A x s all right so i bring this a over this side equals to x naught zero plus b u s okay and then we know that the s is a matrix now because it's multi-variable so it's x i all right so it's in terms of a uh, uh, three by three if you want so it's s s s or the rest are zeros or you can have s s zero zero if it's so this is a two two um two inputs to output out now Alright, but anyway, um, yeah, then after that you have this thing already, alright, you, you inverse this, alright, so this one will be cancelled, and you multiply SI minus A inverse over here, alright, if you don't know anything, uh, you can just watch back the, the first video, the very first video of this playlist, it talks about that, alright, I'll just quickly go through once, because at least, um, you don't need to go back to that video. And now, since you have already got your Y, um, sorry, your XS already, you can sub in into your CXS. So this whole chunk over here is gonna sub in as a CXS, all right. And therefore, what you are seeing right now is this. Um, wait, hold on, eh? So once you sub in your X of S and then you rearrange, you have this whole chunk as as the same part as your the the one that I've just show you over here. Your Y S is equals to this one. So this thing over here is simply the same as this one, all right. So you can just work it out if you're free. Otherwise, if you don't know anything or you don't, you don't, you don't want to do it, you just watch the first video of this playlist. All right, and then um, 
since we know that x0, alright, we didn't actually specify during our derivations, alright, that will be x0 over here. Alright, we didn't specify its initial condition. We can set this as equals to 0. Alright. So if it's x0 is equals to x0, then you have to submit as s0. But for our case, let's just submit as 0. Alright, for, for goodness sake. So therefore, um, what you're left with is, is this chunk over here. Alright, this, this chunk over here. Okay? And therefore, this chunk over here is simply this thing. And therefore, what you can see is the output and your input. Alright? And therefore, your, your transfer function is actually this whole chunk over here, which is also shown over here, right here. Okay? I hope that this is pretty clear for you. Okay, yeah, about the derivations. Alright, but I, I hopefully that you understand the, how, I did bring, how I derive all this up to here. Uh, my purpose over here is to actually share with you that um, your output um, can be represent, re represented as a transfer function and an output and, and an input just based on um, this transfer function. So, this thing over here is a very powerful um, subbing to re represent your transfer function as this one. Alright, while it is a matrix. Because currently, what I've been, what I've been always doing is actually in terms of a differential equation. Right now, in our case right now, we have a dealing with a matrix. It's a, 3 times 3 or 4 times 4 so it's a big chunk of um, information so therefore a transfer function isn't just as simple as uh, s plus 1 or s plus 2 it's, it's a, a chunk of um, matrices and then you're going to dissect into Laplace systems again but anyway let's just keep it to this first alright this this definition is, is pretty powerful and just to take note been talking so far is only talking about the open loop systems alright it's an open loop system okay and therefore, before I go through the, the systems in terms of a, a closed loop system, I'll go, I, I think I'll do it in the next video, alright, is that the summary is that the transfer function describes the input-output transfer properties of a linear system in the algebraic form, alright, so you actually um, rearrange your g of s as equals to this algebra, alright, and then um, you can do some magic about it, and there will be a differential equations again. But anyway, um, this is the multi-input, multi-output systems already. Alright, in terms of an open loop systems, alright, and it's a time invariant, alright, time invariant, where is it, yeah, time invariant, linear time invariant, so the, the, the equations itself aren't the same for, for other equations, I've shown you in the first video, you know, I highly suggest you watch that, that series, uh, the lesson one, alright, and in the next video we'll talk about the closed loop system, and I shall see you there.